Hi, I'm Maggie Weldon from Maggie's Crochet Needlework and Crafts and in this video I'm going to show you another four afghans from the book number LA3859 that's available at maggiescrochet.com. I love this book because it's a book of all my afghans that I designed and some of these are my best designs that I've ever done in my whole career and um, most of them are worsted white yarn and there's um, beautiful designs in there. Um, so the four that I want to show you, the first one is called Pretty Posies and there's a flower in each square and I love the way we used um, different um, colors uh, for, uh, for all the different squares and if you notice they kind of go on an angle like the blues and then the, the pink and uh, there's some sym symmetry to it a little bit. Um, but anyway, you start out with the flower in the middle, then you um, go to the green and then the white and the pink, and then it goes to a little granny square, um, two ro rounds of granny square. Then you sew your squares together, and then you sew buttons to the center of the flower. So it's so cute. And then there's um, a couple rounds of um, border that goes around the entire afghan. And um, I think it coordinates well with the... Um, with the green coming back out here on the border to match the um, the leaf round here. So that's the Pretty Posies Afghan. It's all worsted white yarn. And then this one was done with a bulky white yarn. And this was actually done with Lion Brand Jiffy. And the afghan in the, goes this way with the stitches. The afghan in the book was done in a cream color and mine was done in the um, mint green color. So this was created, actually it's, it's like a puff ripple stitch. So it's all just um, rows, repeating rows, uh, starting from the bottom going all the way up. And then we finished it off with these beautiful tassels at the end. So that's a really pretty design. And then this one is a Q-hook afghan. Um, I think you could probably get this done in maybe around 12 hours and a little bit more because you have to sew them together. But with the Q-hooks, typically you hold several strands together. This was done with two strands at one time. And um, you make the motifs and you um, sew them together. There's a graph in the book on how to sew them together. And then you put a border around the entire afghan. But that's really cute. That'd be a great way to use up scrap yarn because when you are combining two strands at one time, you can use different dye lots and it really won't um, show up that much. So that's a neat one. And the one in the book for this is at the very end. And they did it with the um, white color as the main color and then um, the different pastel uh, roses there. And I really love this um, color combination here. So that's really pretty. And the last one I have to show you is like another strip afghan. And it's created with shells going up the middle. And the shells are really neat because they have a, um, a real texture to them. It's kind of like a raised double crochet but not really. Um, I don't remember exactly what stitch this was, but it's really interesting looking. It's not just your everyday shell. It's, it's got some um, depth to the stitches in there. So you make the panels, you sew them all together, and then you put a border around the whole thing. A simple, it looks like a double crochet border on that. But I love the colors in here. You could use, um, there's three shades of blue. You could use three shades of any color, like pinks. This would be beautiful, or purple. Um, it's got a lot of possibilities, like all of them do. So that is book number LA3859, and it's the best of Maggie Weldon crochet afghans, and that's available at maggiescrochet.com. Thank you very much for watching.